Hi, my name is Frank Santos with Vanco, and in this short video, we're going to cover the EVSP 24 VW, our newest video wall processor, and how to access the software and furthermore set up a video wall. So, the first thing that you want to do is go to our website, vanco1.com, and then we're going to punch in the part number of this unit, which is again EVSP 24 VW. And when you click on the actual product, it'll forward to the product page. However, what we want to do is click on the downloads tab. Now, the downloads tab is going to hold all of the resources that are helpful for this product, including the manual, uh, the sales sheet, the software, and all of the drivers. Now, again, we want to open up the software, so locate the EVSP 24 VW software, hit download. And your computer will download the actual application. Now you want to make sure that you bypass any virus scanning or anything like that to open up the actual application. Now I actually have the application up and running. Now there are two ways to connect the video wall processor. Uh, one is UART, which is the RS-232 connection, or network. Network is, in my opinion, the easiest. Hook up a CAT6 cable from the back of the unit to your network. Hit connect, and this software will automatically find the video wall processor. As you can see, I'm connected, and it shows the IP address. Now, going through the tabs here, the first tab is the switching tab. Now, the video wall processor has two inputs, HDA and HDB. Now, for every HDMI output, I can switch between both inputs, and I can do that for, again, for any output. We can also do that for the HDMI loopout as well. So if I wanted to switch between inputs for loopout, we can do so for a local monitor or the actual video wall processor itself. Last but not least, the audio output, we can choose the audio source coming out of the audio breakouts of the back of the unit. Now, the next tab over is the signal setting tab where we can adjust the scaling or the output resolutions of each and every HDMI output. Next tab over is PQ and position where we can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. Last but not least, most importantly, the video wall. How do we set up a video wall? Now, out of the box, the video wall processor can handle up to four displays. It is certainly expandable. You can daisy chain additional units. We can do up to a 16 by 16 video wall setup. So again, out of the box, I only have one unit hooked up here. So I want to set up a two by two video wall display. So I'm going to adjust my rows to two, my columns to two, and hit set. Prompt will come up, hit yes, and now we've got ourselves a two by two video wall display. Now to take one image or source signal and spread it across all four displays, what you want to do is with your mouse, click on quadrant number one, click and drag to all four. It will highlight. And then the next thing you want to do is right click on your mouse and then select screen splicing, and then it will highlight to green. Once that is done, we have spread one image or one source across all four screens. We can even right click again, cancel splicing to take it out of video wall mode, and you can have any one of the two sources show up on each screen. We can also select the input as well. So if I, if I hover over input select, I can choose between input A or B. We can also do multi-source video wall as well. So if I click on cancel splicing and click and drag from screen one to screen two, I'm gonna do screen splicing and then I'm gonna do a separate video wall here on screen three and four. And again, screen splicing and now I can pick between each of the video wall displays. And again, I can choose the input. So very flexible in terms of what you can do with the, with the software and with this product. Uh, last but not least, you can certainly save this layout and then you can load additional ones in the future as a shortcut. So if you wanna do different video wall applications and then bring them up very easily, you can certainly do that. And then we can also adjust for bezel setting as well. So that is it. Again, just a short video showing uh, the EVSP 24 VW software, how to access it and how to set up a video wall. For more information, please visit us at vanco1.com.